Yes, we are following major breaking news at 9 o'clock. The community waking up to heartbreaking news. A 19-year veteran of the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office killed in a hit-and-run crash. This is video showing the procession for Deputy Michael Hartwick. The Pinellas County Sheriff saying the man who they believe hit and killed Deputy Hartwick has been caught. Dozens of officers were spread out searching for Victor Vasquez, a construction worker, for hours after the crash. Our Larissa Scott is live near the Howard Franklin Bridge where this happened. And Larissa, walk us through what we've just learned here. Well, James, as you said, we just found out moments ago that the suspect was just caught. Now, there are hundreds of deputies were here searching for the man accused of killing Pinellas County Deputy Michael Hartwick on I-275. Helicopters were flying in circles above us right here all morning long. We're off of Roosevelt Boulevard in Pinellas County, which, as you can see, is now open again after being shut down for hours all morning. The man they were looking for is Victor Vasquez. Investigators believe he killed Deputy Hartwick. We're told, though, they're not 100% certain that Victor Vasquez is his name, but this is a picture of him, the man who they say they caught. Here's video of the Howard Franklin Bridge right now. The sheriff tells us around 1030 last night, Deputy Hartwick was working construction detail on the bridge on I-275 north of Gandy Boulevard. He stepped out of his cruiser and was standing on the shoulder of the road. Investigators say one of the workers, believed to be Victor Vasquez, was driving a big construction front loader with forklifts on it. They say he hit Deputy Hartwick with the construction vehicle, killing him instantly. The sheriff says Vasquez, Vasquez took off his vest and helmet, gave them to another worker who hid them, and then ran away on foot. Deputy Hartwick was 51 years old. He was with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office for 19 years. He leaves behind two adult children and his mother. The sheriff tells us he was just doing his job last night when he was killed. Take a listen to what he had to say about Hartwick earlier this morning. Deputy Hartwick was doing what cops do every day. He was out doing his job. He was on his assigned post. Uh, he was trying to protect the scene out there uh, for the construction workers. And, uh, you know, ironically, he got uh, hit by one of the construction workers uh, on this loader. Uh, of course, what Vasquez should have stopped, should have done is stop, and he should have rendered aid. Now, the sheriff tells us they use a lot of resources to find the suspect and we'll stay out here, continue to monitor the situation for you and bring you updates as soon as we get them. For now, I'm live in Pinellas County, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News. Larissa, thank you again. This is a situation that is affecting commuters uh, very seriously. Our Jazz Williams over in the traffic center right now. Uh, Jazz, we were told to expect delays for quite some time here. Uh, by the way, James, we are still seeing those delays to I-275 for folks headed into uh, Tampa. You have been experiencing a major closure there on the Howard Franklin. And as a result, we've been trying to give you guys ideas about detours taking the Gandhi into Tampa. But we are seeing some uh, delays for those of you who are headed east, or excuse me, coming in from Tampa into St. Pete. If you are headed west, you're seeing delays on basically all three major bridges, bridges the Courtney Campbell, Howard Franklin, and uh, the Gandhi because people are trying to find an alternative route. So we do recommend following us on Twitter so we can give you more updates about where you can go instead. Give us a follow at Tampa Bay Traffic and that's on Twitter. Uh, for now, Greg, I'm going to send it over to you.